Granville started because of some of the other programming with the Rodeo Opry. We were doing the Riders from the Row series and I was making lots of trips back and forth to Nashville and on one of those trips I found the W.O. Smith Community Music School and I visited their their site and saw what they were doing and I knew immediately that we needed to have that in Oklahoma City. They were offering music lessons just for kids who qualified for the free and reduced lunch program for only 50 cents per lesson. They allowed us to use their school as a model. They helped us get started. In 2009, we started the Granville Community Music School. I was pretty gung-ho from the beginning because I just liked the idea of what's going on. Even though there's no money in it for me, it's just a, it's a very re rewarding experience. We want to be able to provide quality music instruction to these kids that deserve it, that want to participate but could not otherwise ever be able to afford it. We provide these lessons for just 50 cents per lesson. Um, so that makes it something that, that all of them can figure out a way to have that 50 cents a week. And it gives them a sense of ownership. It's not a handout. It's something that they have purchased and that they are participating in. And we just want to be able to provide that to as many kids as we can figure out how to squeeze in here. These kids are there strictly for the love of music. They're not there because a parent said, I want you to practice, I want you to take this. Here's an instrument, I want to see you march in the field. Here I want to see you play in a symphony. They're there because they just flat out love music. Imagine you're in traffic and you hear all the honking and all the construction work and all that. That's all music in some way. So pretty much everything here is music. It gives me a place to escape when I have a bad day and I've always had music, so it's just pretty much my life. My favorite thing about coming here is probably just how nice everyone is, and the teachers, they're not just teachers, they're more like friends, so you become close with them. They show you step by step, you know. If you have any trouble, they just like play along with you or help you out in any way, even help you out in some problems out of the class, so pretty much like family. One of the greatest benefits that I see not only is the musicianship that happens with the kids, but also their level of confidence. When many of them start, they come in and their heads are down and their shoulders are slumpy and uh, they won't look at us, make eye contact, and then it's not very long until you see them walking a little taller and there is a sparkle in their eye. I've seen it impact on some of my students. They, uh, you go along and you teach them something and they think it's going to be very, very hard, uh, and you show them a simple way to, to get by something, and they just their eyes light up and go, "Oh, I see now." You know, and it's like a little light bulb comes on over their head, like the caricature in a cartoon. It's just wonderful to see see their faces and know what's going on in their hearts when when the room lights up with music. And, and it sounds so beautiful and sounds that they didn't even know they could get. The sense of accomplishment that they have, to me that's one of the biggest impacts that have been made for these kids is that they are learning and they are feeling great about themselves. We have one student in particular, Nicholas. We truly believe that we're going to be able to help him get a college scholarship. On our first visit, he could hardly give me eye contact, and at the time he had real long hair, and he, he was very shy, and I just wanted to hear him play, and I did, and I could see there was a lot of talent in there. He had some bad habits we needed to break, and um, it has been the most rewarding musical experience of my life. Music is a form of self-expression to me. You can convey every emotion with music. I used to provide my son with private lessons, but I lost my job over two and a half years ago, and that's how I heard about Granville. Um, I took advantage of it, and he's doing great. You can just take a piece of music and have a computer play it, and be able to play it correctly and everything with all the right notes. But if you don't put any emotion through it, then it's not really music, and I think that's what a lesson teacher teaches you. I can see clearly how it's impacted Nicholas. He's growing, he's becoming more confident, he's playing up a storm. I want to uh, major in music performance with Blue, and I want to get my doctorate in that, so hopefully I can play in an orchestra one day. My joy comes from seeing the student grow and learn and be able to produce 
more than they ever thought they could. There's just nothing like it. You know, what you, what you give, you get. What you learn, you teach. We are desperately looking for people who would be willing to donate 30, 30 minutes to an hour a week and work with students to help them get to that next level that they want to get to. When I can get teachers here, they fall in love with these kids, they fall in love with this program. Keeping teachers is not my problem. Getting them here is an issue, and there's only so many that one teacher can take. They are all volunteers. They give of their time freely when they could be doing things to make money, and instead, they're not only volunteering their time, but they're paying their way to get here. We want desperately to never have to turn anybody away and to always be able to provide them uh, this service and, and this opportunity. What a wonderful um, philanthropical group and what a wonderful place to give. I mean, everybody gives the Salvation Army and to the um, animal shelters and to the homeless shelters, but this is something entirely different and they don't necessarily need the hundreds of dollars of donations. Just a, if everyone could just give a little bit to them, either monetarily or with their time. There are so many students out there that need this. And if we could just continue to reach as many as possible, then I would say we're doing our job. It's a great place to learn any instrument and just to have fun and just learn music. They teach you how to properly express the music, to um, how to play it, to make it really music. I receive a blessing every day because these kids come through here and um, I just am watching them open up. Not all of them are going to be professional musicians. Um, some of them will never even be good musicians and that's really we don't care. As long as they are working at it and enjoying it then they are welcome to be here. When I walk through this school on a night when we're having lessons and I hear flute and cello and guitar and all of these wonderful things happening at the same time. And it's just this amazing feeling that you get when you walk into this place and you know that we're making a difference.